How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I've got another hack for how to store your productions. Now we all know that your finished products here, your cakes, your breads, and other very similar items like this that don't have a use later on in other productions, what do you do with them? Well, you've got to leave them here or you've got to like put them in a pile over on the side of the map. And it's if you've got the auto load trailers, it's difficult because you come up here and you, well, you might pick up that and then you pick up that and then they disappear. I've got something to solve that for you. And it's this right here, the Pallet Storage and Logistics by John Wayne 1930. This is available for all platforms. Yes, it came out on April 8th, 2022, and this is a really, really cool mod. Let me go ahead and go up here and show you what all I have stored in this thing right now. As you can see, I've got everything stored in here. Breads, cake, cheese, fabric, sunflower oil, canola oil, all the way down to grape juice, chocolate, furniture, you know, all those different things in here that I don't really have a place to put them at once I've made them and I want to get them out of the storing area so I can make more. So how does this work? Well, you're going to bring your product over here and put it right here. So if you've already got product on a trailer and you want to drop it off, you're going to put it right here. And another way that you can store all your items in the factory is coming to your production chains. I'm on carpentry right now. You can see that I'm going to make furniture out of wood or furniture out of planks. When I come across over here, I just want to make sure that instead of storing, I'm on distributing. And what that's going to do is it's going to take it from my uh, production facility that's actually making this item and automatically put it into my inventory as an input over here in this factory. So I don't have to transport it. So if I've got stuff sitting outside, I manually have to pick that up and move it, unfortunately. But once I have this put down and I turn this to distributing, it's automatically going to transfer that for me. So now I'm taking a look at the pallet storage and logistics warehouse section here. And I want to come down to my furniture and I'm going to come across over here to the other side. And if I come down here, you can see that I've already got 21,301 liters of product here in this warehouse now. And all of that was transferred over by doing the distributing method that I just showed you. So how do I get this out of here now? Well, what I want to do is go ahead and come down here to the very bottom of my output. And instead of distributing, I want to go ahead and set this on storing and watch what happens. I'm going to go ahead and be looking this way right here. Whenever I do this, we're going to come back over here and I'm going to hit storing. And there are all of my pallets. And the benefit of doing it this way is that now I can take all of my product all at once, put it on a trailer, whether it be an auto load or a um, regular trailer, strap it down or just leave it the way it is in an auto load. And then I can take it and sell it all at once. I can get the absolute max price that I want. Now in the description, it does say that this is going to hold 100 pallets of each type. So you can see down here, my sunflower oil, it's at 71, almost 72,000 right now. That's gonna store 100,000 liters of this product. And if I come down here to grape juice, you can see that I'm actually got more in storage right now per this bar than I do on the sunflower oil, but it's only half the amount. That's because these grape juice pallets are only 500 liters. So only 100 of those is only going to give me 50 thousand liters of product here so be mindful of that that you're keeping an eye on how much capacity you have here and what size those pallets are to begin with now another thing that this will do for you is it will distribute to your other facilities so say i've got a bunch of flour stuff like that that i'm building up i'm saving and i don't own a bakery yet well i can put it all in here and then I'm going to come in here and all I have to do is select my flower, put it on distributing and boom, there we go. The reason I'm not doing it right now is because it's having the same issue as some of the other production facilities. If you put your flower in here and you have it on storing, it's automatically going to put it back out where we saw those other pallets before. And then I've got to put it back in, but it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to take it right back out. So I've got it on distributing right now and it's going to be going to all of my other facilities but I have to turn it on over here to make it do that. So if I want to do my flower, I have to actually turn this on. And now it's going to run 24,000 cycles every single month and send that material over there. I don't have anything in here right now, obviously, but that's what it would do. So guys, I am really excited to start using this. Um, we've got a competition going on right now. I can't add this mod into that. Otherwise, it would be absolutely phenomenal to be able to use it there. But if you've got a regular gameplay going on, or like me, once this competition is over in May and I start back on some regular gameplay stuff, this is definitely going to be one of my production facilities that I add to the map. And um, I think it's phenomenal. I think it's absolutely great. I saw it over on the PC side of things shortly after the game came out and was really hoping we could figure out how to get it over to console. It looks like they did, and I can't wait for you guys to use it. So that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go and give it a thumbs up if you would. Want to be kept up to date on all my future tips and tricks videos here on the channel. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those videos, go ahead and check out one of these other two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.